Today I delivered at the Food Line Distribution Center in Greenville, South Carolina. And uh, it's CNS, I believe is the name. And then, like I said, it's, it's Food Line. <clears throat> They're located at 216 Forrester Drive. Now, if you're coming in on I-85, whether it's north or south, I believe it was exit number 5858 that I got off on. But if you're coming 26, Interstate 26 from the Asheville area, you can get off on US 25 and take that all the way into Traveler's Rest, South Carolina. And there you can pick up, uh, I believe it's US 276. And if you stay on 276, you'll have to make one turn in the city of Greenville. Other than that, it's a perfectly straight shot, straight to the, to the location. But I'm gonna forewarn you, come here with plenty of time on your clock. Come here when you wanna just waste time because this place is one of the most disorganized disasters and the people here while they're nice they don't give a rat's patootie about your time and things you may have to do they care less about your time left on your clock for example I arrived for a 6 p.m. appointment I arrived at 5 28 p.m. When you get here, you have to, there's a parking lot off on your left. You have to pull in and kind of loop around the parking lot because there'll be other trucks there. And then, you know, eventually you'll, she takes like three or four trucks at a time. They have one woman up there at the guard shack checking you in. And I sat for about almost an hour and a half waiting to get checked in and get the uh my paperwork and everything then when you get here and you get checked in they're going to give you a designated parking spot uh they're all numbered and you're going to pull up to that parking spot and you're going to sit there and wait for someone in the warehouse to call you now I sat for about 40 minutes, 30 to 40 minutes, and uh, then they called and gave me a door assignment. So I arrived at 528, and it was shortly before 8 p.m. that I was called and got my door assignment. So, you know, you're, I was here for about two and a half hours two to two and a half hours from the time I arrived initially to the time that I got a dock door assigned to me. And I was at the dock door for a good hour before they ever began to unload me, maybe an hour and a half. And then they finally started unloading me. They unload you in spurts. You can feel them back there. They'll come in and get a little off and then I guess they go and do something else. And then they come back a little later and get a little more off. But I've been sitting now for over an hour and a half with a green light. What I'm waiting on is these lumpers to call me and give me a price so I can get a T-check code for them. And then I don't know how long it'll be after that before I actually get my paperwork. So, it's almost 11.20 p.m. on Friday, August the 13th. Yes, Friday the 13th. I probably shouldn't have, shouldn't have even hoped to get out of here in a reasonable amount of time. But, I went in to see if they give me an ETA as to 
when they're going to call me and give me a price. Well, they're on a 30 minute break. Really? You can't work through a 30 minute break. You can't go ahead and let these drivers know what their fees are. I mean, it's just this organization don't give two shits about your time or anybody else's time. It's all about them and their own, they're in their own little world and could care less about anything else. You know, they have unskilled labor in there. Uh, so that tells you how motivated their, their staff is. So uh, they're probably, you know, getting paid a, a decent wage, but probably not a livable wage to do what they do and I know that it's, you know, monotonous and labor intensive and I appreciate that. But uh their leadership leaves a hell of a lot to be desired. And their organization leaves even more to be desired. But my recommendation never ever ever come to any food line distribution center anywhere within the forty eight states of this country. Stay away. Stay far, far, far away. I'm, I'm starting to develop the opinion that I just stay away from all distribution centers with the exception of a few. And those few would be like Walmart. They unload their own trucks and they actually run a pretty efficient operation. Target used to be a lot more efficient. They, they too do not have lumpers. They unload their own trucks. But they've gotten to where, well, like in Newton, North Carolina, for example, they want a minimum of eight hours to get you unloaded. Um, the last time it's been two, two and a half months ago when I went to Newton, North Carolina to that Target distribution center. And I had to wait for almost 23 hours in order to get my trailer back. And when you drop it off, they will call you and get it unloaded. You have to allow us eight hours. Well, great, you know, I'll go to sleep, let the clock reset, blah, blah, blah. Um, my clock had reset twice in the length of time that it took them to get me unloaded and call me to come get my trailer. My thinking is someone forgot, but that's a video for a different day. This is all about this CNS Warehouses, which is a food line distribution center in Greenville, North Carolina. And again, they're located at 216. Forrester Drive in Greenville, South Carolina. And as I said earlier, if you can avoid it, do not come here. It is just a disaster with a capital D. This is one of the worst food distribution centers that I've been to and I I haven't had a good experience at any of them, except for Walmart. And there's another one that's called Lidl or Lidl or something like that, L-E-I-D-L, I think is how it's spelled. Uh, they're Virginia, North Carolina, I think they got some stores in South Carolina, but uh, they're kind of like a Publix from what I understand, but uh, that's actually a pretty good distribution center. And uh, the last time I went to a public distribution center, it really wasn't all that bad either. But I haven't been there in a while, so I, I know things change. But anyway, keep that in mind before you take a load of this place. Safe travels. See you, bye.